We're talking, uh, of course, through cottage cheese, uh, all the way to getting a car that is 50% uh, taxed, uh, up to 30% uh, more than uh, most places in Europe and uh, uh, North America, the Western world. And uh, the Israelis are a little bit fed up of that because uh, people here are hard workers and they want to succeed in the world and you know uh, get a good stand uh, with their school and job. And uh, unfortunately, they're struggling to finish uh, the month since uh, you know, the cost of uh, living has been very, uh, very expensive. And uh, what's been worrying me is the lack of clear goals onto where this, uh, uh, you could call it a social revolution even, is going. If you could think about it as a car driving on a road, and uh, if there's too many exits and too many ways to uh, uh, make turns, then the car would be pulled in too many different directions, and that would make the road bumpier and unclear. I think that there should be a strategized uh, goal uh, <coughs> or several goals that are important, and um, that should be pursued. And I don't think this uh, should be made into uh, any political struggle, not at all. Uh, that would uh, affect the whole uh, purpose uh, badly, very badly. And as you see, there's people here that are from all spectrum of uh, political, uh, you know, var a variety uh, as far as Israeli uh, people. I'm optimistic and um, I believe that our generation, the younger generation of Israel, uh, will make a change. Uh, people here have uh, been really fed up of uh, what the country has become and really yearn to go back to the more you know, naivete days of Israel, uh, and um, we really yearn for a, a positive change, and uh, I'm sure it will happen. We just need to continue, uh, sharpen our uh, goals, and uh, we will be heard.